We're about to break the world record for charging an iPhone from zero to 100% in less than a minute. Oops. Okay, well, that was a little dramatic, but so are some of the myths we've seen about fast charging. It seems like this is quite a hot topic around here with a lot of misconceptions floating around. So the question is, does fast charging damage your phone battery? No. End of story. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. All right, perhaps you're looking for a more detailed explanation. Let's clear up some of the most common fast charging myths and expose the truth. What exactly is fast charging? In simple terms, fast charging increases the power or wattage going into your phone's battery, allowing it to charge more quickly. The first iPhones used only five watts of charging power. I know but that has since increased past 15 watts, which qualified as fast charging. Apple recommends using a 20 watt or higher charger for the iPhone. Some Android phones are even rated to charge at 100 watts or higher, which is really something. But here's the thing. Fast charging doesn't maintain maximum power the whole time. It starts strong at a high wattage, but as your battery fills up and gets near 80%, your phone slows down to protect its battery and increase its lifespan. And that's called the charging curve. There are only three possible battery killers. Overheating, overcharging, or an empty battery, which is using your phone when it's lower than 30%. And as we'll soon go over, fast charging has a negligible impact on any of these. Thanks to modern tech, it's actually a non-issue. Which brings us to myth number one. Fast charging generates more heat, which kills your battery. False. While yes, fast charging does generate a little more heat than slow charging, it's not enough to be concerned about. What does impact battery health is charging past 80%. If you really want to prolong your battery's lifespan, a good practice is to set a cap on your phone's battery to stop charging once it reaches 80%. And this can be done within power options inside iOS. Myth number two. To protect your battery, it's best to unplug your phone once it's fully charged. No, false again. Once again, your smartphone is prepared to handle this situation. Once the battery has reached 100% or whatever percentage you've set, your charger will stop feeding power to it. I mean, that would be like a coffee machine pouring more and more coffee into your cup until it overflows all over the counter and then catches fire. So there's no need to worry about leaving it plugged in all day or night. Myth number three. Fast charging causes the charger to overheat. Nope. But this is a good reason why you should buy a high quality charger. In any scenario where the charger itself gets hot, it will send a signal to the phone where it eases up on power delivery. Of course, you have even less to worry about when you use anchor chargers to refill your phone's battery. So while your phone keeps its battery temperatures in check, our chargers have smart tech that will also regulate itself. For instance, these two Anchor Prime chargers feature gallium nitride architecture, or GAN. GAN chipsets are way more efficient at transferring electricity. Less energy loss means less heat. Anchor also deploys its own advanced safety tech, such as Active Shield and MultiProtect. Now, these are designed to control the charger's temperature so that it stays within an optimal charging state for the best performance. If the charger ever gets too hot, then it will reduce its power until things cool down. And it'll check these temperatures over six million times a day. Fast charging will not kill your battery, so let's put these nefarious rumors to rest. If you want to stay informed on other hot topics in charging, well then be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next 